Hey YouTube, it's Stove Mods once again. Today I want to show you this fire pit I made out of an IKEA strainer. Actually, I didn't make it, I just bought it and altered it a little bit because to me it appeared almost perfect as a fire pit the way it is. But there's one thing I did I drilled holes into this part. It's standing on that part, so as you can see, if that is standing on a flat surface, there wouldn't be any holes, no air would be able to get in, but here are holes and I wanted, you, wanted to um, utilize them for the airflow, so I needed to drill some holes here as well. And by the way, I think if you're just using it for the purpose it usually has, like spraining noodles, that might help as well, because the water can get out. So apart from that, as you can see, it has handles, you might wrap them into something that is isolating and fireproof so even when it's hot you might be able to touch it with your bare hands. The material is um, stainless steel and um, that's pretty much all that I can say about that thing. I'd say let's get started. burns very well although the wood is not entirely dry and it's windy but as you can see I have a really nice fire going so that is the IKEA fire pit cost me 10 euros or 9.99 at IKEA I don't know what it is in the US or somewhere else but I guess not much more. So it's really cheap and once you don't need it anymore you can use it for the purpose it was meant for. I'm very sure you would be able to cook with that but I don't know if that's interesting to, to see a test. In case you'd like me to do that please just let me know otherwise I'm not gonna do it because you know you, you can imagine yourself probably what it's like to put a pot on this and, and see the water boil. If I use gloves I'm able to touch it or even lift it. That's quite a practical thing in case you have to put it at another place. Okay folks, it's been a pleasure as always and um, I hope to see you soon. Bye. 